Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing good. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be among the first to get notification. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate. You people are so amazing. Let us continue subscribing and grow bigger. So this particular channel, we are just here to defend Harry and Meghan in whatever case. Every situation that they go through, we are here to defend them. We will not allow any attacks and recently from the byline reports and the investigations that are underway, we are so happy that we are going to get some justice. Finally, we are going to get justice for Harry and Meghan. So the so-called British royal family is now being put in shame and we are hoping that everything comes out clear very soon. We are so much positive about that. We trust in Byline and we know that they are going to give us the full information that we need. Now, let us look at this breaking news. So we are told that Christian Jones faced no further action by Simon Keith and he retained the confidence of Kensington Palace and later on had a couple of big promotions. So this Jones responds to Simon Case's investigations and questions as below. So we have the first one. Jones said that, yes, he had known Dan for a while, but he did not know him very well. So you know Dan Wooten was involved in this particular case. Dan Wooten is the person who wrote an article in the Sun website talking about William and Kate fallout, but after getting in that royal circle, he was able to pull down that particular article and he had no good reasons for us. So he shifted his interest from William and now went on to attacking Harry together with his family. So there was a question there, but we are expecting so much more information from the byline times. So Jones has said that he knew Dan for a while and he did not know him very well. So that is part of the questions. And again, Jones admitted that his partner had indeed been paid by the son at the time stated in the whistle. Blower emails, but nothing to do with Prince Harry and Meghan. Now, from this, the case is now, it's drawing closer. So they are here to say that the payment was made. You see? So that is something that is pushing us closer to what we are supposed to get. So there is the payment and still they are claiming that it was not all about Prince Harry and Meghan. And so what are we doing here? We are just investigating whatever was happening during that particular time when Harry and Meghan were removed, the security and their lives were put in danger. So Jones admitted that there was a payment which was involved by that time. And they are saying that it is not all about Prince Harry and Meghan. Do we have any other Harry and Meghan somewhere? Okay, if they are there and then they are not such much big names as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And now the third question the explanation, one of his partner's clients supposedly had the same name as Duchess of Sussex. This was the reason for some of the money paid and that the timing was just a fluke. Look at that. How weird is this? So they said that there was a client who had the same name as Duchess of Sussex. So they are claiming that their client was involved in all this 
Is someone else who is not the Duchess of Sussex? They are just sharing names. So where are they? Why is it that we do not know them by now? We should be knowing them. All those who are sharing names with Meghan, we are supposed to be knowing them. They are supposed to be public figures because this can't just happen in a very light way. Me, I am expecting that I know every other Meghan who is there in the world because for me, I only know the Duchess Meghan. And if there is any other Meghan, I'm supposed to know. We are supposed to be aware because that is big names. Because Meghan is a big name. So whoever is related to that name, we are expecting them to be in limelight. I want you to listen to some of the comments concerning this story. I am happy that we have many supporters of Harry and Meghan. So look at the replies that this particular story got. So someone said, also, who is the client with the same name as Meghan? Should not be difficult to find since there must be an article about her around the same time it was paid for. So, so someone is so concerned, as I said personally, that if there is another Megan was involved in this story, then it should be put outside there. We should be aware of her. That is a big name. So this person is actually concerned of the same. It should not be difficult to find. So someone is saying, another Megan, that person is questioning the same, same thing that I was talking about. So we have another Megan. You see, people are so worried. They are so shocked that we have a lot of Megans out here and we do not know them. Now, there is this person who made me even laugh. It's okay. I love his comments. So he said that, imagine Harry being given this as an excuse. So you can imagine. For real, you can imagine. So someone go and tells Harry that all this was somebody called Megan, but it's not the Duchess Megan. So it's so weird. I know it's funny. That would not be a good excuse to be given. And now, let me give you one more so that I read to you the full details that were given by Jones. So there is this person who said, I assume he was breathing against another Megan on behalf of his client, but it should not be difficult to find it out since we must have some sources describing more about it. So that is actually the same thing as I was talking about from the comments we have seen. So people are so worried of the Megan who is not known in the public. The Megan who is claimed to be the client of that particular case. So people are so worried. So you see, the comments are surrounding the question, the big question that which other Megan whom we do not know? That is a big question. Now, let me read it to you. Whatever was said by Jones, the exact things I want to quote it to you so that you can prove. I am not just talking of something that is not there. Christian had to be questioned by his bosses about it. He said that, yes, he had known Dan for a while, but that he did not know him very well. And that Prince William's courtiers who appointed him did not have problem with it. Christian also told them that his partner had indeed been paid by the son at the time stated in the whistleblower emails and for the amounts described, but that money related to stories about clients his partner represented in their work is the sub-publicist and was nothing to do with Prince Harry and Meghan. One of his partner's clients supposedly had the same name as the Duchess of Sussex. There was the suggestion that it was the reason for some of the money paid and that the timing was just a fluke. So that is the report that we are given. So we are here. Look at these people. Now they are almost admitting things, but they are using someone else. They say that we have another Megan. 
Personally, I don't know any other Megan apart from the touches. So, my people, I want you to comment down below if you know of this Megan who is being talked about in this particular story. Who is this client who made some payment in this case? So, kindly comment down below and allow me to end this video at this particular point. Kindly, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, like this particular video, and also share with other people. I really appreciate you for watching this video up to this point. Kindly stay tuned for the next one.